Welcome to the Sweet Cherry channel. My name is Chimita and I am a solo traveler. I'm currently here in Bali and today I'm going to be doing a Bali tour with my Airbnb host. His name is Sanar. So I'm currently staying on their family compound. And so after I eat breakfast, we're going to go to some of the temple. I don't know the names, but I just know we're going to like some of the Hindu temples. I'm so happy to be here and grateful that I have the opportunity to be here so that's my my statement of gratitude just being here in bali and being around the balinese people which they are very kind very genuine like truly genuine because i've been to different cities different countries where it's like um they just want your money you know they really don't care about you they just want your money but my balinese family here they're very genuine very kind so yeah, we're gonna go on this tour, y'all. I'm excited. Let's go. And those coconut. coconuts, but they're not green, though. Yeah, that's coconut the we use for the when to make coconut oil. Oh. We choose the the oldest one. Okay. The younger one is uh, the consume for the uh, what uh, young coconut water. Mm -hmm. If the oldest one for the meal. I did not I know mean, that. Yeah, for the oil. For the oil. Yeah. Interesting. She's making offering. So I'm leaving the temple. I have no idea like what is going on because my host just dropped me off and they were saying to go inside the temple I would have to pay um, 30,000 rupees no thank you but these clothes are pretty coming out of this is like a big tourist trap type of situation all right let's try this again this time i was with sanar so this is the holy water temple most people come here to do the water purification ceremony which i did on another day so make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you're interested in checking out my experience this is a hindu water temple so you must wear a sarong to enter into the temple which comes with your ticket so in here they don't use it for the public for this one. You cannot be only we starting from number two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, and then the seventeen or fifteen. Those are not for the public. Yeah, that's only special for when they have uh, no help of when they still take Can I take the for you? Yes. Right here. Yeah. Okay. okay. said the leaf and the robusta is a more bigger size and then arabica is a more smaller one and then the bean 
Is it that? Yeah, that's still young earth one. Oh. And then the one that's not the oldest. You can see the leaf different than the bush one. Mm -hmm. The small Like narrow, like? Yeah, small one. Mm -hmm. For all here, white pepper here. The white pepper is the more biggest one. The black pepper is small. Oh, that's black pepper? Yes. Oh! This the one that the leaf is different. Wow! <laughs> That's cool. And then this is black pepper. You begin to eat the snake skin fruit. Mm -hmm. In Balinese, we call it, in Indonesia, we call it salad. The fruit is coming from the bottom. That's very dangerous. There's many. It's very spiky. Yes, yeah, spiky. Prickly, yeah. yeah. That's why no animal to come to eat that food. Look at this cute pineapple. But that's so cute. Does it get any like our pineapples are pretty big? We have the, many kind of the pineapple. Banana. Like that is cute. So that's a local one. Good morning. That's a lubak. Lubak. Bali is known for the unique production process of luwak coffee. Once these animals eat ripe coffee cherries, the pulp is removed as the cherries pass through their digestive system. Their digestive enzymes alter the chemical composition of the beans, which gives the coffee beans a unique new flavor. After the animal excretes its feces, the beans are collected from the feces, cleaned and processed to remove any remaining traces of the luwak's digestive system. The beans are then dried out in the sun, then roasted to enhance its flavor. I did try the Luwak coffee, not on this day. I had to work myself up to it. I don't like black coffee, so I would have just preferred to have some creamer and sugar in it when I tried it, but it wasn't bad. Mm. <laughs> and this roasting station was hot. Like the pit was right next to my feet. But yeah, the Luwak coffee wasn't bad. It's just hearing about the feces part that is such a turnoff. But I've eaten worse. I've eaten chitlins before, which is pig intestines. So I was like, I'll be fine drinking this. They also have other coffee and teas you can try if you're not open to the Luwak coffee. I say go for it though. It's a mind thing. You'll be okay. This is the mango stick? Yes, Chad, that's mango stick. That's that's really good. <laughs> well, I guess this is more, more like it. Yeah, it's it's really good. Good. But yeah, I like it. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ginseng. Ginseng, yeah. For more extra sport for a moment. <laughs> you don't? Okay, that's why. Did you like your notes? Yeah, these are good though. It's beautiful out here. And it was raining earlier, so I didn't know if we were going to be able to actually do our tour, but it stopped raining, so it worked out. This is my favorite, y'all. This is the coffee. 100 gram, 90. 200 gram, 100. Okay. Cow bean. Look at this little man. I love how they carved out his face. I love this one. <laughs> the sun is definitely sunny. I can't take a picture with the elephant cave because in their ceremony and they're taking their pictures so oh there's the guy <laughs> there's a the guy uh rinsing off or uh, whatever i don't know <laughs> y'all let's take a moment to just talk about how beautiful this is like it's gorgeous out here it's absolutely gorgeous. I wonder if it means like it's sacred if it has this shawl around it. Mm. 
Yo, I'm out here in the jungle. This is crazy to me. It's not crazy, but it's just amazing. It's a blessing. It's it's a huge blessing. Even my my host Sarna, like having him as my host is such a blessing because it's made my trip so much easier. I just feel like that. I hate how my camera gets foggy. Oh, look at this waterfall. Look at that. Oh my God. You guys, mosquitoes out here. I love this. And these trees are so tall. Y'all, this is like a hike, okay? I'm sweating so bad. And I was walking down this, this road. No idea if I'm going the right way, but I do see the light, so that's a good thing. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be back here. Lord have mercy. Yep, nope. Dang, that means I have to go all the way back around. That's crazy. Dang. It wasn't that long of a walk. Wow, yeah. I'm all the way in a whole neighborhood. Okay. See, I knew when I was walking down here, I was like, I don't think I'm supposed to be walking this way because it's not maintained and I was the only one walking down this path let's see if I can get a selfie the beauty <laughs> it's so misty that like on my face it's just running my makeup Oh my goodness. This was the last stop on the tour and to get down here to the waterfall, there were so many stairs. By this time, I was so tired and hungry. I had this corn and I'm pretty sure I fell asleep in the car on the way back. to go get something to eat I am tired y'all <laughs> I didn't think that tour would be that long or that draining but it was I hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to hit that like button and share the video also subscribe to the channel if you're interested in solo traveling thank you guys for watching until next time bye